Hello. Oh my god, new shoes? Ah, I love yes. those! <laughs> I like them! Your acting skills are very good. <laughs> can't shop without eating. No, we're going to eat first and then we go shopping. Okay. I think it's been two years since he's been here in um, Lico. Yeah, I think it's been that long. I, I think the last time I came here, it was Halloween 2018. The Halloween party here in, in Lico Road used to I be amazing. I think I came in 2018. Oh, that was the I last came time as here. Uh, Slash. From Guns N' Roses. I think oh. it was 2018. Yeah. There you go. I think it was. We were probably yes. in the same place. Uh, and yeah, we are in Lincoln Road. South Beach. She needs to shop. I need to buy two things. I need to buy underwear. Okay. Super <laughs> revealing. And I need to buy a sunglass because my sunglass broke. Oh, the right but yeah. first, we, we gotta sleep. eat because I'm starving. And even though I like shopping, more than usually men like to. I cannot do anything when I'm starving. And we need to eat something light. Yeah, something quick. Yeah? yeah. Can I eat a burger? It's Sunday. It is Sunday and you did work out yesterday, to, uh, today, sorry. Yeah. And you actually been pretty good, so okay. I guess we can have a burger. Okay. Without bacon. Compromise. Sorry. I don't know yet. <laughs> I'll let you know when I sit. This was still under construction or renovation the last time I came, which, which was in the beginning of COVID. Like they have the fences here and everything but i'm sure it's the, oh it's usually pastas burgers mediterranean <gasps> i'm totally down for this for what for this place if okay. you want to yes. cheeseburger sobe burger no i don't like lamb you know what when it comes when it comes to burger i like the classic me too me too i don't burger. like like with yeah. the only thing i like to a burger avocado oh yeah Avocado, because I don't do bacon, so for me, like the avocado texture in the burger is great. And what are you going to have? I'm going to have a gyro. A what? A classic gyro. That is a Greek fast food plate, and it's like lamb meat, but not oh. very good quality. With sticky sauce, which is yogurt based, which is delicious, veggies, and a pita bread. It's Great call, my Great call. She stole the bottle of water. I didn't feel like yeah, paying for it. That's correct. <laughs> I pay for it. I'm just dehydrated since yesterday. We have Miami Open going on. Yeah, we do. And I actually went last weekend. It and was that's, actually a good experience. I like the decoration. First stop, you have three, four for ladies. And half of a floor for men. Mission number two, unsuccessful. They never had a t-shirt. For, for me. They didn't have the t-shirts that I wanted. I'm just gonna buy online or try Zara. No, Zara, I'm only going to try my uh, underwear. I'll let them leave the like, corn or something. Mission number three was not exactly successful because I didn't find what I wanted, but I find, found other things that I had to buy, which was uh, t-shirts, black t-shirts to work. Someone told me that I look good in beige on Instagram. Really? Yeah, they said you it's, it's you, your color. You look good on everything. So. Uh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> That shows how old I am. Hey bosses, I'm here back in the confessionary. I feel like I'm on a big brother, but I sit in this seat and I talk to you. And I wanted to conclude the vlog today with another thought. Brownie is there. Uh, <clears throat> me and my friend Maria, was, we were chatting today and something very interesting, like we had a very interesting subject about how some people prefer to be entrepreneurs and how peop some people like to be professionals, like working in a company. And even on those two spectrums, you still have ramifications. Like some people like to be an entrepreneur and have big companies with a lot, a lot of team, uh, managing a lot of people. And some people want to be professional and just do their job or they want to be professionals and lead a team inside a company. And in the last, I mean, I've been working since I was, uh, 18 in the last 20 years a lot of things passed through my mind I started in a company 
and well I start working with my father and I work with my dad for three days or four days when I realized that I could not work with my dad because like we were fighting all the time and I like to do the things that I want to do and he of course it was his business he wanted to do the way that he wanted to do so it was very hard for us to be together so I just left uh, and then I start I started to work in corporate Brazil not America but Brazil big company a lot of team corporate ladder to go up and everything and at that moment I thought that what I, that was what I want to do until the day that I found out that for me to step up was impossible because I was working in a company that to be a director you had to be a doctor meaning not having a doctor degree but being an actual like physician or something like that and that like fuck the all the corporate all is going always going to have like something and there was always going to be people that are, are, are trying to like screw you and you need to deal with the politics and everything so I'm going to start my own company. So I start my own company, a brokerage company, a stock brokerage company, had employees, secretary, all the, those things. And I thought, this is not working for me. I don't like this anymore. I went back to a company to work for them, but because I was moving here to America. So here in America, again, I did my own company. I opened my own company. Same thing, partners, employees, everything like big, 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 big. And I thought to myself, that's not working for me. And now that I'm 38, I know exactly what works for me. And my friend Maria had the same experience. She worked in corporate, she opened her, her own business, she worked on, on her own business and she saw, she admitted to herself that it was very hard to admit it to herself that this was not for her, she wanted to do another thing. And for me it was the same. Even though I was sure that I didn't want to work in a company for somebody else, I want to work in my own company, like when you think about entrepreneurship, like people are always like thinking about big companies going to the stock market, going public, have a lot of employees, like big, big, big. For me, it was super hard to admit it that that doesn't work for me. What works for me is me working for myself alone. I don't like working with teams. I don't want to have employees. I don't want to have partners. I just want to do my own thing, make my own money, investing passive uh, real estate of passive income in general and keep doing. I like meeting people. I like talking. I like real estate. I like selling and I want to sell residential real estate. That's uh, what I want to do. That's my sweet spot. That's what I like. That's what I'm happy and that's what I'm going to do. So um, I'm in the vlog with that note. If you don't know what to do or if you do but you are still debating, don't debate. Just go after what you want and um, everything's going to be much better I guess because I mean I'm working by myself and I'm happy. That's the best thing. Being happy is the best thing. Right, Brownie? Brownie? Are you happy, Brownie? Huh? Are you happy? Yeah. He's happy. Bye-bye.